Melody, and hello. My name is Lulu DeVore, and I'm the director and producer of the upcoming documentary, Millennium Island. And I want to wish all of you a happy Halloween! <laughs> as you can see, I am dressed up as a monarch. Now, this is pretty relevant for a few reasons. When I came back from research and development in Kitabest for Millennium Island, I learned a lot about my ancestry and genealogy. I got the chance to visit Abeyang and saw the extent of climate change destruction on the island. The islet of Pekatorotoro, of my ancestor Nayupunake, has already been washed away. Also in danger is the islet Nuataya, of my ancestor Princess Tiarendrawa. I am descended from Rianeve Kabene, whose islet is known as Tekereyasua. <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, I'm not cracking, but he's I know, I know, I know, I know. He's from the Islet of the Seven Pussies. <laughs> Translating directly into the Seven Pussies. So named because he had seven wives. <laughs> Get the lamp. <laughs> this islet is located in the Nayang, Inukun. On bar, Dabitoya Mayang. Now, all of my genealogy has been well documented by many famous authors, including Sir Arthur Grimble and H. E. Mode. One book in particular, The Story of Karel Ngoa, includes the details of my ancestry from Kirata I of Tarawa through his son, Temata Varepe and through his son, Tane Ntoa, the chief of Veru. This story continues through his son, Tainai I, and his son, Kourabi, whose bones to this day still hang in the Maniaba at Taini Karawa, in Bota, Tabitwea North. As a half-American, half Kiribati person, I understand fully all of the nuances that go into communicating across the cultural lines. And I do not wish to offend or to brag to anybody on my Kitabas side with this recitation of my history. Instead, I am simply trying to reach out to the American audience to explain myself fully. <laughs> I'm just really, really curious to see how the rest of the movie will develop from here. So, if you want to do that, you can do three awesome things. First, join the Facebook event for the Kickstarter launch, because we're launching tomorrow. Second, join the Facebook page. If you haven't already, you're really missing out. There's been some really cool developments. I share a lot of amazing articles and photos. You'll love it, I promise you. And three, subscribe to my YouTube page, because you'll get more videos like this. And I'll be making these Millennium Island web series has an ongoing process throughout the entire making of this movie. So I want to thank you all again for your understanding and for taking this piece of dramatic news in good stride. And the whole world will have to adapt too because the storms are getting bigger. And that's real lightning, by the way. We are really in a tornado watch. To those who may not know me, who may not know Kitabas, and to the Western world at large, that I am descended from these lines. These are my ancestors, this is my history, and this is why I care so much for Kitabas, its culture, its people, and for its struggle against climate change. It's a hard dichotomy to live with, but it's one that I've learned to navigate as a shapeshifter. I'm a mermaid, I'm a monarch, I am a princess, I'm a pauper. I live in a lot of different worlds and that's what I love so much about Halloween, that everybody can live and shapeshift into whatever they want to be. So happy Halloween again, stay safe, stay dry, stay warm, get lots of candy, 
Make sure that your friends got your back when you're out drinking. And until then, so well, and I'll see you later. Thank you.